Like I said, my number one tip is connecting on someone that's not romance. I would literally be so anxious if someone came up to me and said, I think you're beautiful. Can I buy you a drink? I would be like, uh, uh, what do I say to you now? Like now there's so much pressure on this. Right. But what if they're like gorgeous? I honestly think it would. I still would be scared. I'd be like, yeah, what do no, I say I to would this perfect looking too. person? You yeah. Know? Yeah. I feel like I would not do well Maybe even that. more scared. If yeah. they're like, you know what I mean? Like, oh shit, they want to buy me a drink? Okay. Yeah. But like, yeah. I'd be, no, I'd be so scared. I'd be like, what do I say now? Now, I don't know. Now I feel like I owe you something. Like I'd right. be so scared. And I'll always say yes to a free drink. You know, like I'll be, oh sure, you can buy me one. Oh. But then like I'm gonna run away. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I think that's like a really hard line. That like seems like what you should do, but I don't think you should actually do that if you want to meet someone <laughs> in a bar yeah. or a public setting. Yeah, it's probably why I'm where I am right now. The- <laughs> Sure. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for the drink. <laughs> Just run away. Thank you. Yeah. As long as it's poured in front of me. I True. will never accept a drink that someone hands me ever. Yes. We all know that though, That's right? That's a good tip. Hopefully. Yeah. Friendly reminder if you forgot. Yeah. Do not accept anything from strangers. No. Okay. This was my note about the can I buy you a drink thing. I'd much rather talk about something first and know that we can carry a conversation. There's less pressure on friendships and casual conversations. Although I have drunkenly asked men, are you single? And if they said yes, I'd be like, great. What's your name? Yeah. So I feel like that could work in like a very specific situation for a very specific type of person because that also wouldn't work for everyone. Like I'm sure some people would be like scared of that, Mm -hmm. you know, it's like too forward. That's good though. Yeah. And also if a guy said that to me, I would have to be in the right mood Mm -hmm. because I also might be like, I don't know. I don't know. I think it works in specific situations. And if you're like really confident and you're just like, I don't give a shit what they say. Sure. Ask them if they're single and then be like, if they say yes, be like, great. My name is whatever. What's your name? (laughs) Yeah. Where did you come from? What are you doing here? And just like be very forward with them. Right. Yeah, no, that's sure. a good way to do it. That kind of related to that, but not really. I have a question. So my, I don't even know this person. She's staying with my friends for the weekend, but she went to see a DJ set at this club okay. with her boyfriend. Okay. And the DJ really liked her and <gasps> got her Instagram and they were messaging and like he was clearly like looking like, you know what I mean? To, I don't know, hook up or get to know her. And she said like, oh, I like have to let you know, like I have a boyfriend or whatever. And the boyfriend was actually the fan of the dj okay so he was mad at her then oh yeah because he was like you could have like we could have hung out with him yeah like after the show Mm -hmm. and like you just ruined that by telling him that like you have a boyfriend (laughs) what do you think about that i think they probably have a really good relationship honestly if they can be like open about that and Mm -hmm. he can be like yeah still talk to him like i know his intentions but i trust you right and i trust that you're gonna play it well Uh so i kind of love that yeah no i I thought it was funny i don't know it's not really related to anything no it just like came to my mind while we were talking because i have like something similar not exactly the same but i went through this very short time where i experienced dating apps because i had this irrational fear of dating apps anyway so i made them for like two weeks and i tried to make a raya because you actually Mm -hmm. don't have to be famous or a celebrity like literally at all to get onto raya so many people are on it that are just like got a referral code or like know someone that i don't know works there who knows Mm -hmm. i've heard so many stories of random people getting on so i'm like oh i want to get on just to see like who else is on there so i applied to it obviously i didn't get on it but they basically said like if you ever are accepted we'll send you an email so i'm like okay i deleted all the other dating apps off my phone but i kept that one because i'm like who knows and then i met my now boyfriend and i still had it on my phone i just forgot about it Mm. so we started dating and still had it on my phone it was in this like folder of random shit that i never open never really thought about it again then i broke my phone and lost all my apps because it wasn't backed up to iCloud so I didn't re-download it but I was talking to him recently I don't know how it came up but I was oh I I think because we were talking about like when because he was on dating apps before we met and Mm -hmm. when we like deleted them and why and I said no I actually did keep Raya because I thought if I got accepted we could go through it together and see who's on there and he was like oh okay that would be fun (laughs) Yeah, no, see, but that's someone that's, like, comfortable in a relationship. Yeah, Yeah. like, where you're so comfortable that you're, like, able to talk about that and, like, probably do that. Yeah, like, I want to scroll through it together and, like, guess the tea about these, like, celebrities Mm -hmm. in our area. Wait, going off that, too, when, so now you're obviously been dating for a while. When did, well, one, did you guys have a conversation about, like, deleting apps? No. You never had the conversation about it. So I started seeing someone, I've been, like, seeing someone since, like, before Christmas. Like, I don't know when, like, I, I feel like we're 
we're both on the same page with things and okay. it's moving in the direction of like where things are you know what I mean and I have those apps on my phone but I haven't yeah. been on them like I keep getting notifications on like hinge or whatever yeah like they liked you or whatever I just haven't opened it but I don't know is this a conversation that we should be having what do you think how did it happen for you guys so it nothing happened like mm-hmm. I didn't have them when other than Raya which I didn't use I didn't have anything on my phone when I met him and we met through friends of friends by the way just mm-hmm. to clarify so when we had this like casual conversation about it recently which I don't know what sparked it it might have been I forget I forget why it came up but I asked him and he said when we started hanging out and talking he didn't use them but they were on his phone mm-hmm. and then he deleted them when we made it official which I was like oh wait you didn't delete them before and he was like I don't know like what if you changed your mind and you just didn't want to date and you were like yeah this isn't it and right. like you ended it and I was like oh okay yeah I guess that's fair he's like I didn't use them like I wasn't talking to people on them mm-hmm. and I wasn't talking to anyone else but he still had them on his phone which I think is fair because if I didn't want him to have them, I could have been honest and been like, oh, I don't want you to have dating apps on your phone anymore. And he would have been like, okay, then be my girlfriend. Like we would have just been honest. So I feel like that's fair. Although looking back, I'm like, ugh, like I'm jealous that you even had them (laughs) on your phone, that like people were even seeing you and your profile popping up. Like while I was with you, like you were mine, but like really you weren't mine because we were just getting to know each other, like casually dating at first. How long were you guys like dating before? Before you made it official not long maybe like two months maybe it was a little more than two months maybe it was like two and a half or three I think that that is the perfect amount of time to like casually date someone when I say casual I mean like get to know someone and then decide like do I want to date this person or not Mm -hmm. like do I want to have a label and be in a relationship or not because I actually do think that like two or three months is a good time to get to the point where you're like yeah I now know if I want to date this person or if I don't see myself dating them at least that has been the case in my experience because of how often I have like hung out with certain people like obviously if you only hang out with someone every two weeks it's probably going to take way longer Mm -hmm. to get to know them but in like my recent experience I have been hanging out with people like one or two times a week in those like two to three months maybe even more than that so that gives me enough time to like figure it out the last guy that I dated we made it official very quick so then like this time around I've been like very intentional of Mm -hmm. like the pace is like slower but this guy that I'm dating right now though too I just feel I like never open up about like stuff like this I feel like whatever um like like, there's understood like trust and like his presence is very like calming to me Aww. and I'm like oh my gosh maybe this could like be you know that's, that's why I like the way that it's going yeah but really good communicator is yes. very much like intent and he could pick up on my emotions like very quickly and he has like a really good vocab for describing the way things feel and are or oh, something like that wow, that's awesome. um and I feel like I'm in touch with that stuff as well but sometimes I don't know how to talk about it mm-hmm. or like put it into words and he's like really good at describing things that way yeah. so it's been good but I was just curious about the timing because I don't yeah. know I feel like we're like getting there now yeah you know what I mean because it's been a little over two months yeah. so we're going there that's I don't exciting know. I didn't talk to him about the pod. Oh, And I told okay. him today because I asked what he was doing this afternoon or whatever. And I said I was going to do the podcast. And he's like, oh, yeah, like, we haven't talked about that. Like, I really want to hear about this oh, or whatever. So okay. I'll well, him. welcome. <laughs> can listen to this episode where I'm talking about him. Oh, that's <laughs> Which won't be the first time. Remember last year, I, like, literally someone. Yes. It was, like, my first date with them. And they were like, oh, yeah, like, I listened to that episode. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> this man, like, is listening to me before he even I meets know. me. But I know. Fine. It's funny, like, talking about your actual relationship relationships like I feel like I'm so slow to talk about that and I still like I'm feeling out like how much do I actually want to talk about it because it's so like I don't know like when I talk about like past relationships or like past friendships or even like certain friend or family relationships like they almost feel like I'm so like far away from them Mm -hmm. but like a romantic relationship that you're in is like so I don't know like it's just different it means so much to me yeah that I just am more like cautious when I share about it I guess yeah well it's something that's like personally yours yeah exactly so I like never have been one to like post on Instagram about someone I'm dating and I don't know like if that's gonna change Mm -hmm. and I don't know like I feel like I can't put my finger like on the reason why but I'm like feeling it out about like how much I want to share about it like on the actual pod as Mm -hmm. we as we go yeah no I think that's fair though yeah you know what I mean there's certain things that you keep close yeah totally Mm. okay should we continue on oh 
my follow-up to what I mentioned earlier when I said I have gone up to people and been like, are you single? And if they say yes, I'm like, great, let's talk. If they say no, I might just be like, okay, slay. Yeah. Like, have a good night and just walk away. Like, there's that's also fine. I think that's totally fine, yeah. I think it's like being clear, too. You know what I mean? And being respectful. Yeah. Also, I was thinking about the fact that when people ask, like, are you single? I've heard (laughs) that sometimes people respond and say, no sorry i'm in a relationship do not say sorry (laughs) don't say sorry i have a girlfriend or sorry i have a boyfriend why are you sorry to this random person like no don't if my i feel like i would say sorry i'm like a serial apologizer no see i could see if you would say something like oh sorry if you got the wrong idea i thought we were talking as like friends or like i thought we were talking casually so i'm sorry if it came off wrong that would be fine but to be like sorry i have a girlfriend i'd be like and you're apologizing Right. Like, no, I don't think I would even notice it. But I saw that discourse probably like on TikTok or Instagram or something. Like I've just seen girls like talk about that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, that is like such a funny point because I feel like it is so common that people would apologize for that. But like you don't need to apologize. No. When someone asks you if you're single or not. Yeah, you don't. You don't need to apologize for a lot of things. And I find myself doing that. I know. So it's something that I've been trying to work on myself yeah. too. 